You're listening to the Fitzy and Whipper podcast. This video's gone viral. And you know what? With tradies, I'd love to know when someone doesn't pay their bills... What do you do? Do you get revenge? Has it happened before, tradies? 13, 20, 4, 10. I mean, do you actually hire someone with a bit of muscle to go in there to get your money back? Or do you go back to the job that you've already done and you do what this guy did and he returned. He was a tiler. He went back to the bathroom that he'd just tiled with a hammer. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, Every tile. Go. Every tile. Every tile. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Just, I suppose it's there, right, isn't it? Well, it depends if he's paid for the tiles, right? Yeah. Wouldn't you almost be tempted to send one of the lackeys in and to take the tiles off? Oh, that's a pain in the bum. You're just going to break them all anyway. Can Look you? at him go. He's still swinging. Lucky he didn't come back with a sledgehammer. There would be. This would happen so much. I mean, I've got a mate. Punners is a roofer. No, a roofer. And I said, mate, well, how do you go with people who don't pay that? And he goes, mate, it is the blight on my life. Yep. He goes, just the stress of contacting these people constantly and saying, well, I'm going to have to threaten legal action soon. And they're like, yeah, 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 we'll pay it. Yeah, 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 yeah mate. Oh, sweet, I've got the money. Sure, yeah, buddy. I'll, I'll just send that through tomorrow. And they just, they're lazy and they don't want to pay their bills. How do you actually get someone's attention, tradies? 13, 20, 4, 10. I mean, I like that guy with a hammer, but I like it even more when you see those footage of some bloke and he'll have a digger and he'll drive it up to the front. He'll put the digger literally the mouth of the digger, the bucket, yeah. through the front door and then just start swinging it left to right. <laughs> he will knock or, down the first half of the front half of the house. Manure is a big thing as That's well. That's a good you one. Could, you could offload a bit of manure out yeah. the front and say, if you want me to pick it up, just pay your bill. See, I'm trying to work out what's more effective. If you go down that path and you you know, you know drop a truckload of cement on the front lawn yeah. or just a horse head in the bed. That's good. Do you know what I mean? No, Always that's, that's works. Illegal. Always Actually, works. There's a couple of horses I backed on the weekend. You could probably do it too. <laughs> Connor in Penrith. Hi, Connor. Hi, boys. Yeah, what's... Good, uh, Trady Revenge. What do you do, Connor? Uh, carpenter. Oh, you oh, dropped you, out. You, you just dropped out. Say that again, Connor. Carpenter. Oh, you're a carpenter. Right. So, it, it, yeah. do you get this regularly, mate? Is it really hard to get money out of people sometimes? Not always. A lot of people are quite good about it all, but just come across some more homeowner builders. Mm. And stuff like that, and they don't quite like paying right or yeah. Five. So okay, so, following a couple of months. Yeah, sure. Kind of what, what you just give them a bit of a big warning first of all, and then what do you do? Is there anything that pretty you do? Much. Yeah, what do you no, do to get your money back? No, so this one took a couple of months. We didn't hear from him. We finally heard from him saying it's not happening. Blah blah blah. Yeah. So two chainsaws got taken to that house, bro. Well, you just went through the walls, like stud walls were up, and you just walked yeah, around with so the chainsaw. As long as you're not in the house, you walk along the outside, cut every stud, you can get your chainsaw through, and pretty much walk away, and it's not going to be up much longer. Oh, oh my you, God. Did you hear any response at all, Connor? Did they get back to you at all? Uh, one very angry phone call, but it wasn't us. It was. wasn't us. I'm so sorry, mate. You've got the wrong number. I've got no idea what you're Actually, talking about. Actually, that would be quite liberating. Connor, it would have been a good feeling going around with a chainsaw, wouldn't it? Well, it was at the time. Then you're walking away at the end of it. You're like, ah, oh, I didn't make the right decision, but... A little bit, yeah, a little bit, no. I mean, I'd love it if he was so ignorant he didn't know what had actually happened. You know, mate, I've just had a look at the walls. Are you running Are you running cable through there? Because there's a big gap. They're kind of, they're kind of cut in half. I've never... is that, oh, Connor's is, breaking is up. Is that an aeration system that you're putting yeah, in Yeah, what there? have you done to the yeah, wall? You didn't ask for an air conditioner, but you're obviously installing it. Thanks, Connor. Got on you, buddy. You're listening to the Fitzy and Whipper podcast.